Senator Levin, thank you so much for being with us to talk about this just historic event. You know, we all know how symbolic this is and what a relief this is for Americans. But can you talk about the significance to the war on terror? What does this mean moving forward for the war on terror and for us being safe in this country and abroad? It's a big blow to Al-Qaeda, who, of course, is uh, one of the great leaders uh, here in the war on terror, or excuse me, in the, the terror war on us. Um, and um, it's a setback because their, their leader, who's got all the mystique that he has, uh, is gone. And now when these orders come to these young people to commit suicide uh, to support this fanatic cause, uh, hopefully uh, the men in, who are uh, thinking about putting those suicide vests on will think twice that uh, now their uh, mystical leader is gone. Uh, where are they really coming from? And also, I think some of the, the myth of bin Laden has been punctured because he, for many, many years now, apparently has been sitting in this comfortable villa, huge villa, uh, while his uh, minions are being sent out to uh, attack others, living in very, very difficult circumstances uh, compared to where he's living. Uh, and so I think some of the mystique has been punctured as well. Uh, the, uh, the boss is gone. Uh, they no longer can attribute uh, orders to attack us uh, to him. Uh, and um, the fact that he has, has sent out all of his young men to die while he's in comfort, uh, it seems also will weaken that uh, myth as well. You know, I did hear somebody say this morning that, that in essence we cannot kill our way out of the war on terror, that it's going to be much more than just killing a leader here and then killing the next guy who takes over. Do you agree with that philosophy and ultimately what do we need to do to win this war, do you think? Uh, well, it's more than, than that, but it's essential that justice be done here. Yeah, justice, uh, again, uh, sometimes has a, a long arm uh, takes a, and a long memory, but uh, it is done and when it's done, uh, there's a lot of uh, satisfaction that mm -hmm. justice is meted out to the kind of uh, mass killer that uh, bin Laden was. So it's essential that we do uh, what we do and did what we did. Uh, but that doesn't mean that the war is won by a long shot. Uh, there's great victory in the war, but uh, there's a long way to go. And uh, it's going to take a lot more than that. And it's going to take the leaders, for instance, in Afghanistan uh, to uh, take responsibility for their own security. Uh, one of the things that we now must do is begin to leave Afghanistan, and we are going to do that uh, in July. The president uh, decided long ago we're going to begin to reduce our troops, and that's a message to the Afghan people that they must take responsibility to defeat terror. And, and this, I think, is a boost to that because they now know it's doable. You can take action against terrorists. You can find them and act against them. So. Uh, if anything, this will reinforce the Afghan uh, army's determination to take on the Taliban, uh, and the Afghan government uh, will hopefully make a greater effort to clean up their own act. How worried are you about retaliatory attacks that we've all heard the potential for? Uh, the threat is real, and people should be aware of it, and it's obvious that th that will be the first uh, reaction, the first wave will be uh, the retaliation, but uh, long term, uh, uh, the, this uh, terrorist cause has been significantly weakened. But I, people should realize that uh, while this is a victory, that there's a long way to go. And the statement of Hamas today is uh, dramatic evidence of that. A terrorist group um, that uh, is aimed at the destruction of Israel uh, called this a uh, American aggression, that they're going to get revenge. Uh, they uh, call bin Laden a martyr, um, and uh, you know we're up against Hamas. Israel's up against Hamas, and other countries have to deal with Hamas. Uh, they right now uh, are in control of the West Bank, uh, and uh, so the kind of statement that they issued today, uh, uh, seeking and calling for revenge, uh, is the kind of threat which uh, we we know we have to deal with. But that is going to that threat is going to be less over time. Uh, because uh, justice was meted out to bin Laden. I believe you sent out a tweet, and correct me if I'm wrong, but a, a tweet today just kind of incredulous about the fact that he was living in a compound 100 yards away from a military training facility in Pakistan. What can you tell us about your frustration with that and, and Pakistan's role in all that as we close here? 
Yeah, I, there's a lot of questions which uh, the Pakistan Army and the Pakistan intelligence have to answer. How is it that for probably five years, a compound which was built for him, apparently, five times larger than any other compound in the area, high walls, uh, totally isolated, no uh, satellite dish and uh, so forth, uh, how is it that they could not possibly know about this? And uh, uh, they, they need to answer some questions, hopefully, to their own government, and the Pakistan government then should try to explain uh, how their army and intelligence uh, did not know if they didn't, and if they did, how could they possibly tolerate uh, this mass murder being in their midst in such a central place? In the 15 seconds we've got left, Senator, one question for you. Do you believe the picture should be released? The debate's going on. Should the picture of Ob or, um, Osama bin Laden be released to the public? Yes or no? At the right time. At the right time, it should be after some of the heat uh, on the part of the retaliators has dissipated.